Hi guys, so this is a quick demonstration of Breezy's monitor. Uh, this is included, or will be included in version 4.7, which was due to be released Monday gone, but unfortunately I ran into a, a few issues, a few bugs that I had to sort, which is now sorted. So this will be released on Wednesday the 1st, as in tomorrow. So the software gives you statistical information about your site, and once Paxton bring out their latest version of software that does have the occupancy built in with the um, people limiting, then obviously if I can tap into that information and get that also put onto the display. Top of the screen would be a site name, bottom left the date and time, bottom right the logo that was used upon installation. And then obviously we've got people on site, contractors and trades, fire wardens, first aiders, directors for visitors, uh, a rolling area count, and also live events in the respect of access granted and denied. So let's clock some people in. So have to bear with me a few seconds while I present a lot of fobs. We've now got uh, eight people on site in total, six contractors, two trades, no fire wardens, two first aiders, um, one director, one manager, five operatives, one shared apprentice. Because I've got the one net two ACU that all those tokens were presented to, it's just showing site. But we've got the virtual ACU, so let's open that for uh, a different user and clock them in. And then with a few seconds, it will jump up to nine. There we see, there we go. And obviously, we can now see we've got virtual ACU in this list, and it will just roll through site, virtual ACU, site, virtual ACU. Uh, so the next thing I'll do is just show you the fire alarm integration. So within the Breezess software, if you generate a fire roll call report, uh, I've got the software open um, on another screen. If you generate a fire roll call report, and basically you've got send network instruction ticked, then that will send network instructions to open all turnstiles. And in addition, we'll flag up a message down the bottom here to say that the fire alarm has been activated. And as we can see instantly, we've got the fire alarm activation. Please proceed to muster point. And we've got the fire uh, roll call report. And as soon as I click done, it will then disappear from the list and reset and go back to normal operation. In addition, um, within Net2 itself, if you wire um, a fire alarm or some form of mushroom button into one of the Net2 ACU inputs and you program it as a fire alarm input, then you'll get the same effect. So I'm going to go click, click, and then within a few seconds, we're going to get uh, the notification again that the fire alarm has activated. And as we can see, we've got the reset fire alarm button in here. Um, in this example, I've got the button programmed, or shall I say the tamper switch programmed as a set as fire, but it's also programmed as self resetting. So as soon as I've pushed the button again, it will auto reset and the message will disappear. The last thing to do is just clock. A couple of people out so we can see the numbers go down so let's let's go back to the person paul jack who was um clocked in via virtual acu let's clock him out and in a second let's jump down to eight and now we can now see that virtual acu is no longer present in the rolling list it's just static on site and again with a handful of fobs few seconds and then information will come through and obviously the counts will go down okay guys thanks for watching